U.S. Army bringing Detroit military muscle and efficiency to the 2012 Chicago Auto Show. And uh, Lieutenant Colonel, thank you for joining us, and thank you for your service, my friend. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate the, really the opportunity. Uh, every time I see you guys and gals and anybody in uniform, uh, and, and uh, you know, it, it, I know it affects girls, but it affects guys, too, you know? <laughs> because I see you guys, and it just it makes me feel like, I don't know, I'm proud. Can I say that? I mean, it, I, I, mean I, I, I might not think, you know, you look good in uniform or anything, but I'm not saying you look bad. But I, I feel proud, you know, when I see... It's like I think to myself, I, I've never been in the military, but I support, I do everything I can do to support our military and you folks, because I know that you've risked your lives for us. And uh, so I do, I feel proud. Whenever I see somebody, the first thing I do is I just want to say thank you. So I, I know I, I make sure I say it out loud so that other people that are afraid to express their feelings go, oh, yeah, yeah, you know what, that's right, that's the right thing to do. So if I affect anybody in that way, you guys out there listening, do it. Always say thank you to these folks, because, uh, man, what a different world we'd be in if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you. So what are you guys doing here? What is this crazy-looking machine here? Well, uh, this, uh, we're here to support the uh, Chicago Recruiting Battalion. You know, we have a couple of prototype vehicles, yep. uh, diesel-electric uh, uh, hybrid uh, vehicles. Uh, they're the, the serve vehicles, the uh, clandestine extended-range vehicles. And these vehicles primarily used for reconnaissance and surveillance and their targeting. And so one of the technologies that is featured in this vehicle is uh, the hybrid electric technology. And so what does that mean to us is that it's testing out the technology, the art of the possible that we can bring and integrate into our military vehicles. Plus it's not only good for the, the economy, it's good for the environment, plus it's good for our logistics footprint because it, it increases our fuel economy and so what that means to us is that we can take off approximately 6,444 soldiers off the battlefield that we could be utilizing to support the logistics tail. And so the less soldiers that we have, you know, supporting the convoys out there bringing us the fuel for our military vehicles, the less people that we have in harm's way. And as you know, the uh, more people that we have in harm's way, then we can limit the number of soldiers that are exposed to PTSD, okay, and other ailments that are out there that are, you know, one of the main problems that we have. Right, and we support and the folks uh, also at the po uh, Patriot Outreach that is uh, trying to help folks with PTSD. But, hey, let me just show you this. In this month's issue of Motor Trend Magazine, Fisker Karma, do you know that the drivetrain out of this vehicle came from the U.S. military? That's correct. And a lot of people don't know that. And because, right. and, and I remember asking them, I said, man, you guys must have spent a pile on this you know, the, the research and development and all that, now it's done by us. That's correct. There was a <laughs> partnership between Tardic and Quantum. And so uh, it, we're, we're actually integrating, you know, some of the technology that we have, the art of the possible, so that we can bring our best technologies you know, to our soldiers in the battlefield. Isn't that great? Now, talk about Tardec and how you guys work with Tardec. Well, uh, we're assigned to, uh, to TARDAC. TARDAC is the Tank Automotive Research Development and Engineering Center. Okay. And so we're tied to the automatic, uh, uh, automotive network. And then we have approximately 1,500 engineers and scientists that actually work into integrating all of the technology into our combat vehicles and tactical wheel vehicles. And because of the fact that we're centered in the automotive industry, we take advantage of not only the industry, but academia and their research and development efforts to integrate all of this automotive technologies onto our platforms in the military. So before you became, at this point, a lieutenant colonel, a contrarian, what, you know, what was your plan in life when you, before you joined the military? Do you have any plans or you just thought, I'm going to go join the army? Well, didn't really have, you know, thoughts of uh, joining the military. My family came from a military background. Yeah. All my family from my grand grandfather on down wow. served in the military from World War I on. I was exposed to the military in that, that form, but I was, really wasn't pushed uh, and pressured to join the military. But it was one of those things that, you know, indirectly, you know, through my, my grandfather, father, uncles and cousins, you know, we, we thought about you know, serving the military and how important it was to perform a patriotic duty. And so, um, you know, it was an opportunity. And so growing up in a small West Texas town, it enabled me to, to go out and see the world. 
and experience a lot of great things. Brother, Texan brother, I was born in Texas, Houston. <laughs> Look at that. Well, here this song is for you, my friend. Born to be wild, because you were definitely born to be wild and keep our country safe. I salute you, and thanks to all our military. Thank you, Alan. Thank you for your support. Great work. That's it for Motor Trend from Chicago. I'm Alan Taylor. Thank you for listening. See you next time.